Hello everyone, in today's video or tutorial, in fact this is my first technical video on this channel guys, I picked a topic that I think is very powerful, very useful, very helpful for just computer users in general. This video is not to address a particular issue guys, I'm not trying in this video or tutorial to address a particular problem that somebody is facing or that you may be encountering. This is just a general video that's going to show you how to address a variety of different issues. I have used this tool myself over the years many many times to address just a variety of different problems. Whether your computer is just slow, it's not performing very well, whether your file explorer for example is not launching, it's taking a while or it's freezing up or whether your settings app, you know the new settings app that Microsoft introduced with the recent versions of OS's. So all these things, you know, control panel, whatever the case may be, let's say you're having just different issues that you've tried to troubleshoot and nothing is really working for you. Like you've done the basic troubleshooting, um, such as rebooting your computer. <laughs> and please guys, don't, don't underestimate the power of restarting your computer. You don't know how many issues I've resolved over the years by simply by simply rebooting a computer. I've resolved a ton of issues by just doing that. So if you're not familiar or you're not used to doing it, please do so, please. The first thing you should do, basic one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting is restart your device, whether it's your computer, whether it's your laptop, whether it's your smartphone, whatever the case may be, power it off and power it back on again and you may get rid of that problem that you're facing. Anyway. If you're having an issue and you've done all the basic troubleshooting, you've tried to resolve it and nothing's really working for you guys, there is a very powerful tool. And you know what's cool about it is it's free, very easy to use, so you don't have to be technically savvy, guys. You don't have to call in an IT person or an IT specialist to do this for you. You don't have to pick up your device and go to your lo local geek squad or IT shop or whatever to get it resolved or fixed. This is something you as an average user can, can do yourself. So if you know how to log into your computer, if you know how to do basic tasks, daily tasks on your computer, you should be able to easily use this tool. It's native, it's already there. You don't have to go download a software or download an application or do any kind of special troubleshooting or configuration or whatnot. It's very simple to use. You launch it, you use it, and it's supposed to fix a lot of different problems for you. It has for me anyway. I'm talking from, ex again, the cool thing with all this stuff, guys, is it's coming from first-hand experience. It's very practical. I've done this stuff myself. In fact, last week I had a client call me about weird problems on her computer. Nothing is really working right. So nothing is responding. We're trying to launch the settings app, um, trying to launch control panel, trying to install different print drivers, just nothing was really responding, nothing was really cooperating, nothing was really working well. It was just all around giving us issues. So, and, and you know what I did? I walked her, she's in a different state, guys. She's not even local here. She's in a different state. I walked her through this over the phone and she's not technically savvy at all, but she was able to perform it by me just walking her through it on the phone. So this is a very simple tool for you to use. It's very effective. It should resolve a lot of different problems for you. So before you jump to, hey, I'm going to go buy a new computer, you know, uh, before you go out there and spend the 500, the 700, the thousand, the $1,500 on buying a new device, guys, a new computer, don't do that. Like, like, hold on. Like, before you go out there and do that, try this. It's available. It's free. It's not going to hurt. Just try it first before you jump. I've seen this happen so many times, guys, like where people were, are like, you know, uh, oh, my computer is bad. It's time to get a new computer. Um, or before you go the route of enhancing your hardware, like buying more RAM or, uh, or swapping your hard drive, or before considering or doing any of that, try this tool. Let me show you. All right, guys. So this tool, again, is a native tool to Windows. It's built in. You don't have to browse or search for it or go online or whatnot. It's right there built into Windows. All you have to do is you click in the lower left hand corner here if you're a Windows 10 user where it says type here to search. Just click in there and type in reset. 
The option is called Reset This PC. You may have come across it, you may have seen it, but I can't tell you guys how powerful this is. I've used it, again, many times to fix various problems. And again, I'm not addressing a particular problem in this case. It's just overall performance issues or just in general, like issues that you will encounter with your Windows computer. So just type in reset and then that first search result should be reset this PC. If it doesn't show up for some reason, just continue typing. So space this. If it still doesn't show up, then just type in the whole thing. Reset this PC and then hit enter or click to launch it. You're going to be presented with this recovery window and right underneath it you'll see that option that, I, that I'm talking about basically in this video, which is reset this PC. So, and Windows or Microsoft has a little explanation here on what this is doing, so it's kind of cool. It says if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. Again, kind of what I've been talking about. So, again, guys, um, before you jump to the option of investing or spending your hard-earned money and going out and looking for deals or buying computers or enhancing or looking for a local IT shop or repair shop or whatever or IT person just try this it's very easy to use it's very easy to find again it's native you don't have to install or download or configure anything so once you're here you're gonna click get started once you do that you're presented with two options one is to keep your files and one is to remove everything so the first option which is keep my files is the option I would start with. So start with that option because it's the less invasive, it's the quicker one, and it's not as severe. So basically this is supposed to keep all your data. So if you have like PDF files, if you have spreadsheets, if you have Word documents, whatever documents or data you have saved on your computer, this is gonna keep them as is. What this is doing is it's removing your apps and settings and cleaning your windows basically. So I would do that before jumping to any other options or before doing the remove everything. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to pick that option to keep my files option. Again, it may not work and you may have to do the other one. But for now, start with the less severe one. So start with that one and then it's going to ask you how you want to reinstall Windows because that's essentially what we're doing. We're reinstalling Windows, guys. So there's two options. You can either do a cloud download for Windows or a local reinstall. Now, I've been successful with local reinstall on many occasions. Ideally, you want to do a cloud download. That's the best option. But then you have to keep in mind that this is going to use your bandwidth. You have to have good a good connection speed. So if you have a good, reliable connection from your ISP, from your internet service provider, and you feel like you feel pretty confident that you can get it accomplished and done in a reasonable time frame without having to wait for a very long time, then you want to go with the cloud download because this is basically bypassing everything on your computer in case there's any buggy system files or any corruption in your Windows, local Windows files. This option is going to go straight to Microsoft's servers and download fresh copies of everything. It's a fresh copy of Windows. So that's ideally the one you want to pick. But again, it depends. It's a case by case. Let's say you have a very slow speed or connection or a lot of users, a lot of network traffic. You want to keep those things in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. So if you're in a small office or medium-sized office or there's a lot of users using your bandwidth and there's a lot of network traffic, then you want to be careful with this kind of stuff. But if you think it's okay, it's reliable, you're good, you have a good connection, then go with the cloud download. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to go with the local reinstall. And I'm going to keep the settings as is and I'm going to go next. Now, it's telling me that it's, uh, other people are logged on to this PC. It's going to it's going to give me a little warning. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to say next. Now, it's going to get things ready and in a couple of seconds here we're going to be presented with this. So basically it's just telling me what it's doing. Change settings back to their defaults. It's going to keep personal files. Now, this is a big one, guys. I want to talk a little bit about this. So when you, when you reset your PC using that option that I showed you earlier, which is that you're keeping your personal file. So technically all your data is going to be preserved. It's going to remain as is intact. It's not deleting any of your files. If you have data on your local hard drive, it's going to leave everything as is 
when it comes to that. However, please guys, get into the habit of backing up your data, always. You always want to have backups. In fact, if you can do redundancies, that's even better. So if you want to have multiple backups. So ideally, you want to have maybe a local backup, like an external hard drive or something, and I can cover that in a different video. But make sure your data is always backed up. So even though Windows is telling us, or Microsoft or Windows is telling us that by resetting this PC, that it's going to preserve and keep our personal files intact, I would still make sure everything is backed up. So then once you're ready and you think this is okay, then you're gonna click reset and this is gonna go through the reset process. Now, I'm not gonna keep you guys holding. We will pick this up in a few seconds here. Uh, once this is done, I'll fast forward and we'll pick it up. All right guys, so we're back. Uh, the reset process has been completed and uh, I'm gonna show you basically what happened. So. Let me just show you real quick. If I click on my file explorer, you'll see that there was, there was like a download, for example, that I had done before I did the reset process. And that's still there. You see, so files, again, because I picked that option earlier, I said to keep the files. So anything that I had downloaded, and if I had other downloads, if I had other files or data, that stuff would still be there. Like you're not losing, again, any files. Now, if I did the other option where I told it to remove everything, then that's when you need to worry about your data. I mean, you have to worry about your data regardless, guys. Again, I cannot overemphasize how important it is to have backups for everything. But I'm just saying that if you pick the one option that's keeping your files, you will find all your files available. And in this case, I, for example, have this file that I had downloaded earlier, um, which is the Chrome executable to install uh, uh, Chrome on this computer. And uh, that's basically how this reset works. So again, guys, I highly recommend it. Now, if that doesn't resolve your problem, you can always pick the other option. Like I was mentioning earlier, this one right here removes everything. This is more involved, it takes longer, it's more invasive, there's more to it. Do that if that other option doesn't work. I've had to do both depending on the situation. Again, start with the less involved one, the quicker one. If that doesn't work, then go to the remove everything. And that's basically wraps up the reset this PC. Now, one more thing I'm going to point out real quick is if for some reason you are not logged in and you're not able to go here and do a reset, like a search and reset this PC from here, from inside Windows after logging in, then there's another way to do it basically from outside Windows is by holding the shift key and then rebooting your computer, restarting your computer. So you would restart your computer while holding your shift key and that will also present basically the same option for you, which is, again, resetting your PC. It's gonna let you uh, go through the same motions, basically, the same options. So that's just another way to get to the same option, the same menu, which is to reset this PC. Again, guys, I've seen this solve a ton of issues over the years, so I just wanted to kind of show you um, what your options were if you are trying to fix issues or troubleshoot yourself. All right, guys, so this wraps up our video for today, which is basically how to reset your PC. So if you're having issues, guys, like I can't really specify a particular problem, but let's say you can really apply this to pretty much any issue that you're having with your Windows computer. So again, whether you're having performance issues or whether your control panel is not responding, whether your file explorer, you can no longer browse your files or folders or repositories, whether your settings app is not working, whether just basically you can try applying this to, let's say your Outlook, for example, your email profile, your mail profile is not working correctly. Like I've used this to troubleshoot a lot of different issues. Always remember to back up your data though and always remember to just do it just try it out there's nothing you have nothing to lose really guys before you start spending money and investing into new hardware or hiring people to do this you can do this whether you're a home user whether you're at the office whatever the case may be guys save your hard earned money try this out they have it there for a reason and they made it very simple for you to use with that said this brings us to the end of this tutorial 
I hope you guys find benefit in this. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my content. I'd love to help you guys out as much as I can and hopefully this is bringing a lot of benefit to you guys. Until our next video, thank you so much and see you in our next one. Ooh.